Hey everyone, it's Peng here from Formula Delta. We're back with another video update on where the high capacity oil pan is at for the GR86 and Subaru BRZ. First and foremost, thank you everybody who made a pre-order with us. We collected more than enough pre-orders to make this product a reality and it was a pretty big success on our side. We are very happy with the support that we got from the community and we're looking forward to bring this product to reality for you. We're planning a little vacation down to California to check out some of our early access testers and say hello. This timing aligns with the 86 Challenge and 86 Cup Day at Button Willow on September 14th. If you are in the area or if you're participating in either of these events, come say hello to us. We're happy to answer any questions you may have and just hang out with the community. We have another update with the exhaust header compatibility. We got scans of the HKS equal length header with catalyzer. The name of the header from HKS side is the HKS super manifold with metal catalyzer. Uh, thank you for the people on the screen who uh, graciously let me scan their vehicle with this header installed. Unfortunately, it does interfere with the high capacity oil pan and it will not fit with our uh, high capacity oil pan. Next, we got a 3D scan from another individual, thank you. Uh, the Powercraft exhaust manifold with 45 millimeter exhaust tubing option. Um, this manifold does fit with our high capacity oil pan and there's actually lots of room with this one, so thank you very much. They also make a 42.7 millimeter piping option. Since the 45 millimeter version fits, we also believe the 42.7 millimeter version will also fit as long as the routing is the same. Lastly, we also got a P-tuning race header from another individual, thank you very much. This header does not fit with our high capacity oil pan. We have added all of these headers and their compatibilities to our product description, as well as the individuals who have made contributions to get these headers. So please check them out. Uh, they should be on the screen as well as in our product description. As a thank you for anybody who has sent in a 3D scan of a header or anybody who's actually been able to let us scan their header on their vehicles, we offer a 50 USD discount on a high capacity oil pan purchase. Anybody who has already sent in headers should have received an email with this discount. If you're local to us or is able to send in a header that is not part of the list of compatibilities, please do. And we will provide a discount code for your purchase of a high capacity oil pan. If you're local to us, please reach out to us and we can scan your header either on your car or off the car. Either one is fine with us. We look forward to hearing from you. As part of our early access program update, we would like to introduce to you Jordan Hill, who drives a 2014 Scion FRS with a FA24 swap. The car is very prepared. It has been caged with a lot of upgrades to suspension, aero, as well as various components for track use. One thing that Jordan runs on his car is the Toyo Proxis R competition tires. These are 40 treadwear slicks with some circumferential grooves for road legality purposes. But in all seriousness, this is a pretty serious tire and it is the highest performance vehicle we have applied our oil pan on. We learned a lot from this experience working with Jordan and as part of the learnings that we will summarize in a second, we'll talk about what we were able to do with this testing and how this has improved the overall product. We're starting to wrap up the early access testing and some of the things we learned during this is going to be incorporated into the production version, the, the high capacity oil pan. One of the first areas of improvement that we're looking at is incorporating features of the OEM oil pan, like the 
drain tubes that is connected to the PCV system of the FA24 engine. We believe that the lack of the drain tube contributed to high oil consumption in some of our early access testers. And we have sent out a pan uh, to one of our early access testers to verify, uh, which incorporated the drain tube back into the oil pan. Next, we are testing another variation of baffles. From our very initial testing, we did our prototype testing at Canadian Tire Motorsports Park. It is a high speed track with lots of elevation change and extended long right hand corners. However, some of the features of this track is a smooth surface. We did not go over significant bumps or curbing at this track as it will unsettle the car. However, during our early access testing, so a lot of our testers are on tracks where taking curbs, taking elevation changes, and taking curbs while elevation changing has contributed to a couple of oil pressure drops. Uh, we have revised the baffle design three times now. This is the third iteration, which we have ran in CFD to confirm that the oil should be prevented from sloshing during a maneuver such as this. We are testing this last iteration of the baffle system, and if the results are good, we will be incorporating these baffle changes into the production oil pan. Lastly, we would also like to advise that this oil pan is designed around the factory headers, which means the amount of capacity increase has been limited just purely by the space that the OEM headers occupy. This brings up some limits in terms of what kind of performance levels this oil pan is suitable for. And currently, we think that the oil pan is suitable up to 200 treadwear tires. And that includes some of the super 200 treadwear uh, tires. When we tested this pan on uh, tires that are significantly more grippy than 200 treadwear rating, we're talking specifically slicks, uh, we do still see oil pressure drops. It is better than OEM uh, oil pan, of course, but if you are driving a vehicle at these levels, uh, I'm specifically talking about racing slicks, Hoosiers, and or uh, 100 or 60 or 40 treadwear rating tires or tires that don't even have a treadwear rating because they're so soft, uh, you may want to consider some additional mitigation techniques. We have generated first party test reports for our early access testers, some of which are floating around online. You can find them and take a look. They are quite technical in nature. They summarize some of the thought processes that went into the development of the high capacity oil pan, the data collection, as well as the testing criteria and goals from our side. If you would like a walkthrough of these results, we would love to see some comments in the uh, comment section below, and we can make a future update video with some thoughts from ourselves. Moving on to the manufacturing update. There's been a lot of back and forth happening in the background here. We have contacted our casting vendor multiple times, and we have paid for the casting tooling as well as the machining tooling for the high capacity oil pan after excruciating amounts of back and forth. But this has finally happened. We're very happy working with them. And we have a conference call scheduled for the next week or two to go over the scheduling and the finer details of manufacturing, such as solidification analysis, as well as the machining and the approaches that the vendor will be taking to manufacture the high capacity oil pan. We're 100% focused on procurement and moving this project along as we speak. Uh, we are doing everything as quickly as we can from our side, but as part of the speed of business, the process takes a while. Because the tooling is on order, this means the design of the oil pan has been completed. The casting portion is locked in. 
one thing we can still adjust is the baffles and we're working on that as we speak. We are working with multiple vendors at the same time and there are multiple pieces of the oil pan that is on order. We're really looking forward to starting to receive physical products so that we can update you further in the future. As a reminder, between now and when the casting tooling is completed, we'll be keeping pre-order pricing of $749 until that time. Once that time passes, the order pricing will go up to MSRP. It would greatly help us if you can support this project by pre-ordering now. This would greatly help us inform our vendor in terms of the final production numbers, as well as help us plan for the procurement as well as manufacturing assembly of the final product. Due to our size, we'll likely keep a pretty lean inventory count, maybe 10 or 15% more than what we have confirmed pre-orders for. If you are really looking to obtain an oil pan sooner rather than later, please uh, make that pre-order now. Once the pre-order sells through, we will likely have a second batch made. However, the pricing will go up as well as the timing may vary depending on how many more interests we get as part of the second batch. Once again, thank you all very much for putting your trust in us and letting us make this product a reality for you.